This one's coming up. This one's gonna smoke it. There we go. Instant smoke the dinner bell. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Hello everyone, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, I've got a spectacular ice fishing idea for you guys. Something that I've never done here on the channel. Just me today, I'm doing a little solo man trip up here in Northern Wisconsin. I'm gonna be doing some pan fishing. I'm gonna be going for some crappies, possibly some perch as well. And what I wanna do is a 60 minute challenge. That's right, one hour, and I'm gonna try and catch as many fish as I can. Now I'm gonna be set up, I'm gonna be trying a couple different spots and uh, that's gonna be all part of the time limit. So gonna be doing some hole hopping and I just wanna see if I can get into any fish today. Again, I'm fishing all by myself. I do not have the Panoptics live scope with me today. I'm just going out there with the drill, drilling some holes. I've got one rod with me. I'm gonna be using the dinner bell from Frostbite and hopefully getting into some nice sized fish. I don't know if I'm gonna keep any. I probably will. I think I'm gonna keep some fish today if we can get into them, but I mostly just wanna see how many fish I can catch in one hour. So we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer on my phone. We're gonna set it for 60 minutes and that's all the time I get today. It's Christmas Eve. I do have to get down to my parents' place. Got the family coming over for Christmas. We're gonna be having a meal, getting everybody together, having a great time. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna start the timer. We're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start drilling some holes and hopefully getting on top of some fish. Alrighty, well, we got the timer started. As you can tell, I got all my stuff with me here. I'm probably not gonna be able to catch quite as many fish had I not been recording, but that's still part of it. Obviously, I wanna make this fun for you guys. So, like I said, I got my sled full of stuff with me here. I got the Markham, I got the drill, I've got my rod, got all my camera gear. We're gonna be setting up in probably about 20 to 25 feet. I'm gonna be looking for panfish that are out on these deep areas, these deep basins and these pockets of water. They're probably going to be suspended. I don't know that for sure, but I'm guessing these fish are gonna be probably anywhere from probably two to maybe even 10 feet suspended in this water column. So that's what we're gonna be going for. Like I said, let's start drilling some holes and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm hooked up on some fish. Right. Drop this down there. Got a ton of fish right here. Oh, look at this. This one's coming up. This one's gonna smoke it. There we go. Instant. Smoke the dinner bell. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Check that out. Let's go. Smoked the dinner bell. Absolutely crushed it. Nice one there. I dropped down, caught one fish. Man, beauties, beautiful colors to them in here. Let's go ahead, we gotta keep that school entertained. I'm gonna drop it right back down there, get right on top of them. Definitely a lot of marks down here now. Finally found the honey hole. There we go. Right down on top of them again. That school's fading away, but, oh, oh, here comes one. There we go, instant. Look at that, on the dinner bell. A little bit smaller than the last, I think. Oh, wow, look at that. That is crazy. I'm not tipping that dinner bell with anything. They're just coming up and slamming it right now. Go ahead and get this one unhooked. I gotta grab a bucket, be right back. Quick update for you guys. I uh, did get into a small school of fish. Unfortunately, that school left. Uh, did meet up with some subscribers of ours actually out here today. I believe their names were Bennett and Caden. Two younger fellas that actually saw a video that Nick and Cody filmed together and they watch all of our videos and they're like, hey, that guy looks familiar. So unfortunately they had to go. They also have Christmas plans today. But uh, yeah, they were nice enough to say, hey, if you wanna come fish our holes, We've been catching fish all morning. We watch your YouTube channel, so jump right in. So I'm actually gonna slide over and uh, try their area and just see if we can get hooked up with some fish. Oh, this one's got a hit, come on, come on. Got him, there we go. I don't know if that's a crappie or a perch. We're about to find out. Really a good one. Nice crappie, look at that. Beautiful crappie. Let's go. That is awesome. All right. Well, definitely got a nice school down there. Gonna go ahead and get back down there right away. Oh, yeah, multiple fish down there now. Here we go. Get down there. Yep. There we go. Another one. 
another one. A smaller one. Just came up and slapped it. Another little guy. That one. That one's actually gonna go back. Well, there he goes. Definitely a school down there. Got a guy drilling pretty close to me. But that's okay, I don't care. Not gonna be out here too long. We're in the holiday spirit, guys. Here he comes. Got him. Feels pretty decent. There we go, come on. Get up here, there we go. We got ourselves a fighter. Another beautiful crappie. Man, that is freaking awesome. Go ahead and get that one right into the tail. Got ourselves some nice eaters here. Dropping that dinner bell right on. I'm still sitting in about 23 feet of water right now, 24 feet of water. And they're just loaded in here. Whole school of them below me. This one wants it, wants it. You gotta have it, come on. Oh, missed him. Here comes another one. This one's gonna probably hit. There we go. That one came up to say hi. Just a little guy. Wow, this is a feeding frenzy, you guys. I don't even know how many fish I'm at now. I think I'm gonna have to stop and count. Just a little one going back. Drop it right down on them. Definitely a lot of fish down here. It's important to try and keep these fish active. You wanna keep them busy. You don't wanna lose that school. So I'm just dropping right down. They're sitting probably about three to five feet off bottom right now. I can be three or four feet above their heads and they're already, look at this one, just bull rushing it. Coming up and he's there. Got him. Just a light hook set. He barely had it. That's not a good crappie. Let's go. It's instant, guys. It's literally instantaneous. Again, I'm not tipping that dinner bell with anything. Little guy, I'm gonna drop him back down there. This is, this is awesome. This is how Christmas should be. Oh, look at this one coming up. Oh, I missed him. Come on. There's gotta be a couple little ones in this pack right now. There we go. Just a little guy. Oh, it's a perch, no wonder why. That's a nice perch. Nice little perch. Go ahead, get him back down there. A little multi-species action. There are quite a bit of perch in this body of water, but today I'm after those crappies. I mean, I'll take a jumbo perch if we can get one. That one was definitely not jumbo. Yeah, here comes one, there's two. Got him. That rod tip is so light. Just feel them smoke it. Oh, that's a nice crappie. There we go. Another nice one. It's so nice with these crappies. Just taking that treble hook and just getting them unhooked right away. That one's right on the edge of keeper size, but we'll go ahead and put them in the bucket. I've just got about an inch block like this. That's solid red right now with fish below me. They're definitely sitting in this deeper water for sure. Heavy. Oh, here comes one. Instant, look at that, just instant. That is amazing. 100% my favorite lure to use come out of fishing season is the dinner bell. Golden color, just works amazing. I'm sure all the colors are amazing, but wow. Little guy, I'll go ahead and get him back. About an inch or two short, that's okay, still fun. All right, just wanna go ahead and give you guys a little midday update here. We're about halfway through our time limit and I've probably already got, I'm gonna say at least seven or eight keeper sized crappies. And we've got a couple perch as well in the mix. A few smaller fish uh, that you may or may not even see on camera, but uh, I think I'm at a total of 14 fish so far. So we're having ourselves a day. The action is absolutely crazy. I figured with the cloud coverage that we have today and the warmer temperatures, it's a little bit foggy. And and that's how you can tell uh, you're gonna have a really really good bite if you can get on them these fish are schooled up heavy my battery just died that's why I figured I would grab this so I just put in a new battery I'm gonna go ahead and get set back up and I want to see if I can get back into that school of fish all right let's see what's shaking and baking here oh yeah definitely most definitely look at this there we go. just like that <laughs> perch another nice one all right decent little perch gonna send him back down there 
at least in those smaller fish today. Only going after the bigger ones, not giants. I mean, I'll take a giant, but definitely keeping only the eater sized ones. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is just crazy. When it's automatic like this, that's a nicer crappie. There we go. That is a nice crappie. Look at that. Just look at that. It doesn't get any better than that, guys. Another one for the bucket. And drop that back down there. Again, guys, I'm not doing anything too crazy. We're just dropping it down on a heavy school of fish here. Conditions are perfect. Look at this one just charging me. See? Oh. Oh man, I got cocky on that one. That one went down, but two more coming up. Oh, pulled it right out of his mouth. Didn't quite have it. There we go. Got a runner. We got a runner. Woo. There we go. Got a nice fish. A little bit smaller for the pan, so he's gonna go back. There he is. Ooh, I felt like a good hook set. That'd be a decent one. Right in the transducer, that's why. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the dinner bell came up when we had him. Beauty. There we go. Another nice one, it seems like. Oh, yeah. Fatty. Another nice crappie. I've caught bigger. So that one's going back. I saw that there was eight fish down here. Is it? Oh, there we go. Took them just a second. Perch, yep, there we go. You can tell when they're coming up through the water column, usually those crappies are not gonna hesitate. The perch will definitely hesitate a little bit more in most case scenarios. There we go. Got him unhooked. Just a little guy. Not a monster by any means. Well, got another hole drilled here. Definitely some fish down there. Not as many as what I saw before. That first school of fish was just insane. We got some fish down here. About four marks it looks like. All suspended two feet or three feet off bottom. I'm gonna drop this down right in front of them. And hopefully we can get them to engage. That one's a crappie, I think. That one's gotta be a crappie, right? Gotta be. Oh, it's a nice perch. It's a real nice perch. When I felt the weight, I did not think it was gonna be a perch, but oh wow, look at this. Check that out. Beautiful perch, and he's got a minnow inside of his mouth. These fish are feeding. That's a nice perch. That one can actually come home with us. There we go. Uh oh. Ah, oh, there it is. Lines up. All right, well, there's our timer. As you can tell, it's going off, and it's been one hour. So, we're gonna stop that. Well, had a pretty darn good day out here. The school kept moving on me big time, but uh, we've got a couple pan fish in the old pail. We got some crappies, we've got some perch. Honestly, that was a lot of fun. That was uh, definitely one of the better beatdowns that I've put on um, so far this year. And uh, honestly, this has got to almost top one of the best beatdowns I've had in the last couple of years uh, for a solo man trip at least. Came out, found a big school of fish, and just absolutely hammered them out here today. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see how many we've got in the pail. All right, well, as you can tell, we got ourselves a bucket full of crappies and perch. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, just give this a quick dump. Yeah, I'd say we did okay. All right, well, go ahead and uh, take a look at our feed here. We've got a total of 12 crappies and three perch that we kept. So a total of 15 fish. This is gonna go towards feeding my family. I have not had a fish fry with my friends and family in a while. So definitely gonna go ahead and uh, get all these fish cleaned up. We're allowed 25 fish per person total out here on this lake and I didn't need to keep 25 because that's gonna feed a lot of people. Just looking to have a small fish fry and these 15 are gonna be good. Well, as you guys saw, we put an absolute beat down on them out here today. Probably caught anywhere 
anywhere between it's got to be 30 to 40 fish i would say at least we got 15 keepers and plenty of fish that i put back that were on the smaller side some of them i probably could have kept but i don't need that many fish just to have a fish fry just a small gathering with my friends and family but had a lot of fun out here today i'm gonna go ahead and start packing everything up we did the 60 minute challenge one hour of fishing hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us we greatly appreciate it comment down below what you guys thought let me know if you guys have used the dinner bell from frostbite ever before i'm really curious to see how many of our viewers have known about it for a while or maybe have something like that ordered uh, from frostbite it's something that we use a lot here on the channel we pretty much always got the dinner bell rocking with us and uh well Obviously, it catches fish. Had a lot of fun out here. Thank you guys for joining me. Again, if you enjoyed, smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe before you go if you're new to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell. It's going to give you an alert anytime that we post a video in the future. Happy holidays to all. Tight lines from NB Edits.